Hey, welcome back to the Blue Collar Budget of Chris. Today, we're gonna to make a classic Manhattan. The Manhattan's been around since the late 1800s and is still one of the most popular cocktails in the world today. Very simple recipe to make, three ingredients, a whiskey, a vermouth, and a bitter. Today, it calls for a rye whiskey. You can use any type of whiskey. You can like a bourbon, it'll make it drink sweeter, but the rye will offer a more spicier and bolder note to the cocktail that it really does the Manhattan very well. Next is a vermouth. We're using Antica Sweet Vermouth. It's from Italy. It's imported. This is a, a top shelf uh, vermouth, but you can use any type of martini, rossi, a little affordable. But I think this, again, really pairs well with the spicy notes of the rye. Next, for the third ingredient, we're gonna use a bitter. Uh, Angostura bitters, it's the traditional bitter. There's a hundred different bitters in the market today, but this is on any shelf of any store, and again, pairs real well with these two. Let's get started. Um, a rye whiskey, we're using Talbotson rye. This is a great Midwestern brand um, rye. We're in Chicago, this is made in Iowa. It's perfect, it's called for, it's what we're gonna use today. We're gonna use uh, two ounces of this. So we're gonna pour two ounces into our jigger. And at the line, we'll stop, and we're gonna pour two ounces into our crystal mixing glass. Now this is a stirred cocktail, so we are gonna pour this into our mixing glass. If you're at home following us making cocktails, you use any glass, any pint glass, any shaker tin, uh, really anything will work. But if you're gonna make cocktails at home, you're gonna start following us, you're gonna tell your friends, go out, go on Amazon, buy the crystal. It looks great on mantle, it's very nice. Next, we're gonna use uh, our, our vermouth. We're gonna use our sweet vermouth, we're gonna use one ounce. Then we're gonna flip our jigger around, we're gonna pour one ounce on the opposite end so it's the line, and we're gonna pour into the glass again. Again, all three, all three grids are mixed into this in the, in the cocktail glass. And our bitters, we're gonna use two dashes of our bitters. That's all three grids in this one glass. Uh, now, if, if you're following me, it's a very easy, very easy ratio. Two part to one part, two ounce, one ounce, two dashes. And also, if you're from the East Coast, you know two, one, two, is the air code of Manhattan. Two, one, two. Two ounce, one ounce, two dashes. Very simple, very easy to recall. Um, and then that's, that's pretty much all you have it. Now let's add ice to our mixing glass. We're gonna put about three quarters away ice. We are going to stir it with our bar spoon for about 20 seconds. Since this is a, uh, a stirred cocktail, and we're gonna stir it up. We're gonna stir about 20, and now 20 will offer the proper dilution and the proper temperature of this cocktail. And that's about 20. Now, uh, as you see this glass to a side, we have a stemmed, a stemmed martini glass. It's water and ice, and this is chilling the glass. We're gonna dump this. Get all the excess water out, because no one wants to water the drink down. It's already diluted. As you see, it's a very frosty glass. And this will make sure that your cocktail stays the proper temperature through the duration of the cocktail. Now we use a Hawthorne strainer. We're gonna serve up. Now serving up means not over ice. Now the Manhattan these days are called for, some people call for it over ice. The original recipe, and the way I prefer it um, calls for it up. So what's we're gonna do it today? And the final ingredient is gonna be our garnish. Our garnish the marshmallow cherry. Today we're using Luxardo. This is probably again one of the best cherries in the market. You use those bright red cherries, but the Luxardos, the flavor is way better. It really makes that cocktail. There you have it, the classic Manhattan. Now we want to sip. Relax and enjoy. Cheers. Ah, it's great every time. Well, folks, if you like what you saw today, go home, make it for yourself, enjoy it. Tell your friends, please like and subscribe to the Blue Car Bartender. I'm Chris, we'll see you next time. Thank you.